All right, let's say you just downloaded any type and you really want to get started, but you're not sure where to start. And obviously there is a couple notes that came with it that told you a little bit about things, but you really want to you know, try things out for yourself or you've already done something and deleted those notes like I have, so now they no longer exist. Well, you're in luck because this video exists. So today we're gonna to start with a simple homepage, something that you can rely on to come back to, maybe link out to a couple of other pages and kind of use it to get a feel for how objects and types interact. So remember, everything in any type is an object. You can have a page object, you can have an author object, and this kind of combines how you tag that thing with how you want it to be treated in things like tables and lists. So we're gonna start by creating a new object right here. We can also do Command N if you're on Mac or Control N if you're on Windows. I don't know why you'd be on Windows, but either way, let's start with just the button here. And now you can see there's a couple of types here. These are note types. Now I can make this a note, I can make this a task. I'm gonna search in my types. I don't know why page is gone. Um, so I can either click on page in my types or if I go back to the title and let's say I call this homepage and I hit enter, it'll automatically set it as a page. So those options are kind of there. If you don't do anything else, it will default to page. This is most likely what you'll want. And I can have this hovering over here, but I kind of want this to be you know, full screen. I want to be able to see this with all of my other stuff here. So because this is my homepage, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go add to favorites. Now I can find it in the favorites line right here. Now, one thing about any type is that it's kind of hard to find files sometimes, especially if you don't have a link to them because you'll have your recents, which is full of a bunch of stuff that I've deleted. You'll have your sets, which has nothing and your favorites, but there's no place to navigate all of your files in one easy method. The only option for that is the graph view, which I'll show you a bit later. But anyway, if you want to find a page, favorite it. You want it favorited. You want to be able to find it easily later. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to do some Notion stuff. If you've ever seen something from Notion, you'll understand this. I will you know, I'm going to put an emoji here. What this does, you know, it's not great. I'm not an emoji fan, but it makes it much easier to find on the sidebar here. And it'll make something like the graph view much easier. And then I'll go here and I'll hit a cover. Um, and let's just go for a library because I am a generic productivity man and I like my libraries. Um, let's see. The for like a Jedi temple looking goofy little busts of philosophers. I wish I could identify those, but no. Oh well. So let's put this in position and then hit save. And that'll lock this image in place as our background. Okay, so let's look at how we can do things on the homepage and just kind of an introduction. So next to almost everything, you've got like this little, this little bar and a plus symbol, and these are your text blocks. So let's say for instance, I wanted to have a list of my classes. So hashtags in Markdown are how you set your heading sizes. So I'll do two hashtags because I want this to be a little bit smaller than my title, one space, and then I'll say, like, mm, I don't know, classes. Now, under this, I'll have a couple classes, and I'll say um, Java, Russian, and you notice when you, when you enter, it just automatically adds a new bullet underneath it, kind of like Microsoft Word or anything else you might have tried. And we'll say um, English. Now. What if I want to take these here and I want to, you know, maybe line them up side by side. I don't want everything in a vertical sense. Well, you can do that. Just take, grab the little thing on the side, this little bar over here and bring your cursor to where you want it. So it's not like Notion where you kind of like have to predict where it's going to go. Instead, you can, you kind of drag this and then put it where, put your, your mouse where you actually want that line to go. So if I want it under this, I have to point under there. So it's a bit different than Notion like that. And you can do this multiple times too. So I can grab this one right here and I can put it next to that. And then I can have all three of those. And then maybe let's say I want to align this one to the center. So once I have this in the center, now I've got a bit of a classes here. Now maybe I want to have a heading here. I want to actually be able to see this. So you click on this, you go to background, um, and then I'll choose from any of the colors here. I'll say green, I'm a green fan. Okay, perfect, there we go. And then if we want to add something else and you want to kind of divide them, three little minus signs creates this line and automatically puts you in a new line. All right, so let's work with objects a little more now that we're a little familiar with how to move the text blocks around. Let's say I want to put a book here that I'm reading because every time I open my homepage, I want to see what I'm reading. So we could just make a new page for that, but there's actually a simpler way to do this. And this is where the beauty of any type really starts to shine. So the way we'd want to do this is first to create a new object. So I'm going to press Command N because I'm on Mac and it'll bring up this new object right here. Now I could just make this another page and then link it back to this one. But this is where we want to start using the types of any type. So I'll go to my types here. And then down here, there's one that's a book. Now, when I click on this, 
it's going to put this whole template in here because this is the template for any types type of book. So the instant I open a book page, it's going to fill out this template. But let's say I don't like this template. Let's click on this and go to open type. And this brings us to the type here. So we, here we can see all of the relations that it has, all the connected notes. So here's the note that I was just working on. Here's all of the relations that it has. And let's say I don't want tag. I'm not a huge fan of the tag relation just because it's not very descriptive. So I can click on that and I can hit unlink from type and that gets rid of it. And then let's say I want to you know, change how the layout is. I'll click on this template and I can look around here. Author, category, rating. I don't really care about my rating, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And I've added some of the other ones here, but just for example, let's say I want a date a date that I started this book. So I want to add it right above date finished and be below status. So I'll hover over this and then click the plus button when that orange line is right there. And then I'll do a relation and I'll look for date started. Now it doesn't look like that exists. There's only date finished. So what if I go here to new relation and I say date started. Now I can hit create new relation and I can select the relation type. In this instance, I want a date and then I'll hit create. So now I have all of these types or excuse me, not types. I have all these relations right here. So now when I go back to this, this is already linked in here, but I want to get rid of it. This is the untitled note that I was working with. We'll hit delete and then we'll type do command N or we can hit this button down here to create a new object. Now when we do this, let's say I'm reading, oh, I don't know. So let's say I'm reading Dante's Inferno. We'll go Inferno, and then we'll hit my types and we'll find the type book. Now it's automatically going to import this type of book. And here we can see the, the thing that we added. So we got rid of the rating and we'll have the date started. So I'll start filling out this information. Um, Dante, I'm just gonna do Dante, I don't remember what his last, it's, I don't remember how to spell his last name. And now obviously the type, the object Dante doesn't exist, so I'll hit create. This creates a new object type here, so when we're looking at the note, we can actually have this link to a page all about Dante. So we'll go down to tags. Now these are some tags that I was using previously. Neither of these apply. It's poetry, so we'll type that in, and then we'll create a new option, poetry. So now in every time we click on category, poetry is one of the options. If we get rid of that, now it moves down here, and if we want to, uh, uh, call it blue. I feel like poetry is eh, purple. It's a purple kind of thing. So we'll hit here, poetry. There we go. Stars, well, I haven't finished it. Length, I don't have a copy with me, um, but we'll assume it's around 400 pages. Put a question, eh, no. And then status, we'll go reading. So let's say I started this today. I can enter today's date and I can just hit today. And then date finished, obviously we'll leave empty. Now let's say we want to have some pictures in here. Now we'll, we'll see why having them here later is really useful, but for now, I want to have a picture of the cover here and I want to have a cover picture here. All right, so I found that I like, it says there's an error here because I tried to upload a different one and it didn't work, but we'll just go ahead and paste this link in here. And there we go, there's our cover. All right, but if we want a background image here, we can't actually upload anything by link. So for now, I'm just gonna go to Unsplash and I'll say fire because that seems fitting. Um, Where's a very not generic one? Is that a head? That one looks cool. No, it's not a, okay, I thought it was like a silhouette against it. Either way, there we go. That'll sit like that. And now let's say we're done with this. We'll click off of this now. So if I want to add a link to it here on my homepage, all I do is slash and then I can either scroll down to the part where it says object right here, or I can just, if I get rid of that, slash object it'll automatically have it here. And then here's my recent one, Inferno. So I'll click on that and then it will sit there just like that. Now in a future video, we'll look at how we can actually make tables out of things like books and sort things by their object type. But for now, let's say I want to look at this a little differently. I'll go to preview, layout, card, icon will say it's medium and we'll have it be based off of the cover image that we have. Now it's gonna look like this. And let's say if I wanted another one, let's, um, I'm just gonna put a placeholder object in here because I might as well. Let's put a second one in there just to see how this looks. Preview, card, icon, medium, cover. That's all I'm gonna do different. Cover. And then if we pull this one up next to this one, we can kind of get this list of cards going where they've got the, the picture at the top. So this is a really cool way to organize things. And we'll see how we can do this later, but just for now, Maybe test out you know, making different objects and linking them back to your homepage. Look at some of the view options. 
And so in the next video, we'll look at ways that we can make things called sets, which are basically just databases. And that can allow you to automatically make lists and tables and Kanbans out of all of these different object types that you have.